Alright, here we are again in Ken Lucas's truck, man. Tonight we're going to talk about don't do stupid stuff, man. That includes drugs, drinking, no drugs, no drinking, no smoking cigarettes, no nicotine. All that's bad for you, man. I've done all that. I'm telling you right now, it's better to stay sober and not do drugs. Just straight up, it just really is. All that stuff is going to put you in a backtrack and you're going to be walking backwards when you feel like you're walking forwards. It puts you in a delusional state of mind. Um, that being said, man, you got to be smart about your stuff, all drugs aside. You got to be smart about your stuff. You got to be smart about your program. Right now, I'm going through a program change and I'm kind of tripping out, man. I'm tripping out in my head a little bit because I've been on this pro program that I've been running for about a month and a half where I've been waking up at 3, 3.30 every day, hitting the gym at 4 or 4.30, and I've been on that grind and then getting up and going to work, but now I'm going to have to adapt because i got to run nights now. i got to run nights either from 6 to 6 or 12 to 12, depending on what the loads are looking like. So the ability to change, it's it's uh, it's coming up, man. That's why I'm up right now. Usually I'm sleeping. But um, yeah, man, I gotta adapt. I gotta adapt and form a new program on the 12 to 12 grind. I think that's what I'm gonna be running, the 12 to 12 or 10 to 10, something like that, because that's when all the other truckers wanna go to bed. So that's when the savages gotta step up and grind. But I'll still be on the same program, just different hours, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be working out before work so i'm going to be getting that hour in before work so instead of at 4 a.m i'm going to be grinding that workout at say i start at at six o'clock at night i'm going to be working out at 4 4 p.m 5 p.m probably 4 p.m by 5 p.m i'm done then i'll shower and then i'll get in my truck and run That's what it's all about, man, planning this out, having a game plan, and um, accomplishing that game plan instead of just running around like a, like a chicken with its head cut off, man. That can happen too easily. That can happen too easily. You don't want that, man. Especially when it comes to setting goals and accomplishing your goals or being a bodybuilder or whatever you want to accomplish, whether it be body, you want to get your body right, your mind right. Set your goals and put the time in, man. Set your goals and put the time in. That's it. That's just like what Kobe Bryant says, man. Kobe Bryant said, if anybody puts in three to four hours of basketball work, just like he did, then eventually you will be better than the competition. It's that simple. If you put the work in, you set that goal, you put the work in on a daily, consistent basis, you'll hands down be the best. You know what I mean? So that's that's what I'm applying to my life, to my program. And now I got to switch up the hours, which I told y'all, I admitted, man, one of my flaws, I was tripping out. I was tripping out, man. That's why I'm up right now. I'm going to run some errands. Like I said, usually I'm, I'm asleep by this hour, but I got to, you know what I'm saying? I got to go to bed a little bit later now and still get a couple hours of sleep. You know what I'm saying? Six hours, six hours is a good amount of time. I know some of y'all been telling me, messaging me, oh man, Ken, you're not getting enough enough sleep, but I just had to put Kenny on, on the game, man. The sleep studies that have been done on Alzheimer's and all that, saying that people don't get enough sleep, it's a biased study, just like most studies are. Most studies in America are biased because they want the market to do well with whatever company is running the study. Like my boy Kenny, man. Shout out Kenny. Fucking OG. But, uh, man, these companies, they pay Harvard to do a study for them, and then they write up the reports, and who's paying Harvard to do the, the study? Them, they are. So the mattress company paid Harvard or whoever it is to do the study and to also to write up the reports, and they, it's a biased study, man. They said, prove this right prove that sleeping nine hours in a row is the right thing to do you know what i'm saying so harvard does that but in reality human beings have only been sleeping eight hours straight nine hours straight ten hours straight whatever you do to sleep straight through the night ten hours 
We've only been doing that since electricity came out. You can look it up. Human beings are born to sleep five hours on, four hours off, you know, or, or no, I said it wrong. We're meant to sleep like two segments, two segments of sleep. So right when it gets dark out, we're meant to sleep. And then what naturally happens is you have to take a piss or you got to wake up because you had a nightmare or something. So you get up for a little bit for like an hour and then you probably go back to bed for another three hours because the sun isn't up. Back in the day when we, before electricity, we did not sleep 10 hours a night straight. That was not a natural thing to do at all. If you did that, you probably, that stuff probably causes, causes Alzheimer's in my opinion, if you wanna sleep eight hours straight or 10 hours straight. I know it for sure it causes depression from my personal standpoint on that. It's depression, anxiety, when I, when I sleep too many hours in a row, I'm fucking tired, man. I'm depressed. I don't want to do shit. That's why I think it's better to sleep in smaller segments and then get it out that way because it's more natural. You know what I mean? Before electricity, man, look it up. Human beings did not sleep 10 hours in a row, 8 hours in a row. It just didn't happen, man. It didn't happen. I'm saying if that's what you like to do, that's what you like to do. But don't go get prescribed sleep medication because you can't sleep eight hours in a row you're that's perfectly normal but society wants to tell you that it's not normal to sleep eight uh, not that it's not normal if you can't sleep eight hours in a row when really it's just the opposite man you got to watch out for that fake news just like trump says man you got to watch out for that fake news it's everywhere it is everywhere it's in textbooks it's on the news it is everywhere man you gotta you gotta watch out for that man you gotta watch out for that you really gotta look at what's really going on and you decide for yourself what you believe because what everybody else believes doesn't necessarily mean it's the truth and you can find the truth if you look hard enough man pray to god meditate on it and uh you'll figure it out man you'll figure it out for yourself and um yeah once you do you the world is yours man I ain't, I ain't into conspiracy or nothing like that, man. This isn't a conspiracy video and nothing like that. I'm based on facts, man, and my own personal opinion and my own personal feeling towards things. Other people can feel differently, man, but I just know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just see the truth in things, and I connect with others who see the truth in things, and all the other bullshitters can go fuck themselves. Nah, I'm just kidding. But, uh... I like y'all's opinions because I like I like having debates. You know what I mean. I like getting going. I like getting people going. I like I like that type of interaction. So uh, yeah, man. With that, I'm gonna head off to Walmart because you see that right there, that section. I gotta get a little barrel, man. I gotta get a little barrel and probably put some of most of my food in there and you know what I mean. Whatever, organize this truck out a little bit more. And like I said, I I gotta stay up a little bit longer tonight because. I gotta adapt to living at night now instead of living during the day, which I ain't even tripping about, man. Not anymore. Now that I made this video and I'm sharing it with y'all, I feel a lot better, man. I feel a lot better. And uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna be seeing cousin Sean tomorrow, man. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna be dropping some fire videos. If you guys wanna see pranks or something, let us know. Uh, we will be getting mics and gopro soon he's gonna get a gopro i'm gonna get a gopro we're gonna get a laptop each so we're gonna be grinding it out man be, be surely good for some laughs man at least cousin sean he's fucking hilarious uh and yeah man we're, we're gonna get it we're gonna get it so stay tuned for that like comment and subscribe to my channel and yeah, man, if you guys want to come out to North Dakota or you're interested in coming out here, message me or comment, man. It's it's fucking cool out here, man. I was just living in Florida for the last four years, so, and I'm from Boston, so this is one of the coolest places I've ever been to is Williston, man. It's, it's a special, special place, man. It's kind of like a New York City vibe, except less people, uh, but also a little Afghanistan in there, you know, because of all the oil. So, uh... Let me know, man. Let me know. Comment. Comment and go ahead and to, to my Instagram or whatever. Look me up on social media. 
we're getting it out here. We are getting it out here. I've made $550 in three days and I haven't even worked full days. And half the time I've just been organizing this truck and organizing my shit. So, and working out, you know what I mean? I've made fi over $500 in the last, I think I've been here for three days. I've been so goddamn busy, I forget. But uh, not even really working. I've been greasing trucks here and there, but if you're not a grease trucks, it ain't that hard. And greasing trucks, the rate of that that I'm getting paid is 75 bucks an hour. Not 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 an hour, but per truck, per truck and trailer, 75 dollars. I got 200 for training. Um, yeah, man, you you just got to find your people up here in Wilson. You'll do all right, man. And I haven't even started running yet. I'm gonna be starting running either tomorrow night or the next night, depending on when I get back from uh, getting a box in Bowman. So. We, we're doing it out here, man. My cousin, Sean, he's doing real good. He's doing it. He's doing it. Doing the construction thing in uh, Watford City. So we're doing it, man. We're doing it. We're gonna. We're working on getting trucks on the road, man. Shout out to Giovanni. I talked to him tonight. Uh, I'm gonna have more information for you, dog. And we're doing it, man. We are doing it, man. Uh, that's all I can say, man. If you wanna come visit, if you're from Massachusetts, you wanna come to Wilson, Come on up here if you want to come up here from Florida. Go fuck yourself. Uh, only people from Massachusetts or Cali. My boy Kenny, North Cal. Only North Cal people and Massachusetts people. I'm gonna help y'all out. Everybody else, just go fuck themselves. Uh, yeah. So, with that, I will see you in your next video. The next video, and I'm off to Walmart. Peace.